more fun. Carnivals, 
drum and bugle corps competitions, food festivals, sports events, musical concerts, agriculture trade fairs, and garden shows. The Pahias Festival, originally known as Feast of San Isidro, is an annual religious celebration honoring San Isidro, the patron saint of farmers. It showcases houses decorated with colorful kipi, accepted with farm produce such as rice, fruits, plants, and vegetables as a way of thanksgiving for the bountiful harvest. Other events were added to attract tourists like the Parade of Carabaos, Floats, Sunduan, Parikitan, and Hanggantes, and a trade fair known as Changge Salukban. Officially, the festival is listed by the Department of Tourism as one of the most colorful tourist attractions in the Philippines. Those are only some of the fantastic festivals we Filipinos celebrate in our country to show our culture and root in hearts and minds, our traditions and beliefs as well. The Filipino values. Each country has their own distinct values and traits that their countrymen can be proud of. The Filipinos are internationally acclaimed for these personalities. Want to know a few of them? Join me! The Filipino hospitality. This is one of the most popular qualities of the Filipinos. Foreigners who have gone to the Philippines find themselves falling in love for their hospitality. It is a different kind of personal trait which already existed a thousand of years ago. The Filipino Resiliency Super typhoons, devastating earthquakes, volcanic eruptions Throw everything to the Filipinos but rest assured that they won't give up They will continue to survive and miss adversity An excellent example of how the Filipinos are resilient and optimistic is when the strongest super typhoon hit the Visayan region last November no matter what hardship they underwent, they still managed to overcome these trials with a smile and a positive outlook in life. The Filipino Talent Come to think of it, Filipinos are all-around workers. They are your professionals, blue-collared workers, celebrities, and everything in between. Some Filipino talents has been cited by a much famous star, and this just proves that the Filipino talent is excellent. The Filipino Faith The Philippines is mainly a Christian country consisting of citizens who are very devoted to God and who believe in survival by God's grace. Due to the Spanish colonial influence in the region, Filipinos today have become dependent on prayer and religion to save them in times of trouble. This faith has propelled them to practice smiling most of the time despite difficulties knowing that God will save them. Demonstrate. <laughs> I can demonstrate what I eat. <laughs> mm. There are 
first off, you crack the shell. Yeah, you peel it off. And then you'll see the mark. <laughs> I can see the shell and make the shell. I can see the dump area already. And yes, it does look like that. Yummy! Yeah. Angela's gonna devour it now. Notice <laughs> devour. Yeah. She sips the soup. The, the soup, which is also the dog's urine. Yes. Don't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the Good dog's soup. Dog. Okay. I actually need a fork. 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 Okay, now for the final blow. <laughs> and guys, I also call this the duck abortion. I hate you! Why? Oh, I just devoured that small block which was supposed to be. It's too big. Wait for me. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. You don't have to eat it more, right? Yes, you do. Bye. So, how does it taste, Angela? Good dog. Poor little baby. Oh well. <laughs> so, that's it. Balot. Okay, next on our list is the Filipino rice. It's white, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> and it's wrapped in. Pandan leaves ban or banana leaves. Banana leaves. Yeah. But, but why, Angela? Yeah, Justin, why? You um, tell us. Um, <laughs> I think because, first of all, it can add to the taste and it can also add to the, what do you call this? Um, you pack up for me. <laughs> well, it reduces the. No, no, no. I mean, it makes the rice smell better. Well, rice is alright. Does smell good. Really the point. <laughs> but yeah, it adds beauty, I think. <laughs> Enough with the talk. Let's just eat. <laughs> You're hungry again after eating yeah. that duck. You need to do it. It's not. Okay. Why won't you? Why don't you introduce our first dish? Okay, our first dish is, if I'm not mistaken, it's sinigang. Yeah, it's sinigang. It's mostly cooked with um, tamarind or as we call it, sampalo to add that sour kick in it. And then... And then what's this leaf? <laughs> I'm not really sure what those leaves are. Yes. But yeah, sinigang you can use different kinds of meat. You can use fish, uh, pork, uh, beef, and other types. So this is sinigang. So, as I can see, it's very sour, as they say. What do you think? Wanna try it? You first. Very as you said, I'm so full from the top. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna try the same go. You have to make that passive. Why? Right. It depends. Well, okay. You really eat a lot, so. Oh, wait. You can get me. You're gonna try the same first. That's where all the acid goes. The sour you have to make the face. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sour. <laughs> okay, it's your turn, Angela. What's our next dish? Um, this is what we call pinakbet or pakbet. In French, they call it ragatouille, but here in the Philippines, we call it pinakbet. It's a mixture of different kinds of vegetables. As you can see, there's okra. There is bitter melon, or as we call it, ampalaya. And you, you can also add different types of meat. You can see there are shrimps, that's the seafood. Sometimes you can add pork, meat, and other nuts. Okay, now, you do it. Time to taste. Pick a vegetable. Eat meaning like the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> this one. 
This one? Yeah. What? It's carrot. Oh, yeah, it's carrot. It's an easy one. I can eat carrot. Okay. okay. And that one. And that one. And that one. The whole plate. It's the point. <laughs> I'm gonna add some rice. Yeah, it's right. Rice, the staple food of our, us Filipinos. And then there's okra. Looks like a nail. It's a good nail. It's a good nail. Okay, next for our another special cuisine of our Filipinos. Adobo. Yeah, adobo comes from a Spanish word which means marinade, sauce, or seasonings. So as you can see, it's adobo. And, and it's best served with rice. So, will I eat this one or you? Yeah. You're the best eater here in this group of hours. So, adobo with motherly love. So good. Okay, well, that's about it about our main So now we have the, the Philippines national fruit. The My favorite fruit also. <laughs> told me that. Okay, these are generally sweet, although most Filipinos prefer unripe mangoes. Which they eat with bagong, tomatoes, or tomatoes, fish sauce, or with a dash of salt. Now, okay. Well, mangoes, they're usually used as flavoring on ice cream or sorbetes. Mm -hmm. And these kinds of mango preparation, you can see, very pretty. It's a hedgehog kind of preparation. Hedgehog. Oh, they call hedgehog. it hedgehog. Okay. Let's dig it. Let's dig it. Very sweet. Very tasty. No wonder it's the national fruit. I mean, cool. Well, this is a must try when you visit our country. You should. It's like you. No, it's not you should. You must. <laughs> yeah. Evaporated milk to which are added various boiled sweet beans, yellow fruits, thick o banana, or whatever you want. Yeah, it's It's a mixture of different it's a mixture. things. So, so yeah. we're going to eat the halal. So, yeah. For Angela, eight dogs, I'm gonna eat sweet things. So, it's good for being a bad girl. That's your fault. <laughs> you want it to be. I didn't want to, you need me. Nice. Right. The best dessert. You know what you think? Oh, there's ice cream. This is what we call Gube ice cream or the purple one. Mm -hmm. And there's this ago. 
No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the stick over it. international 